stepped in the streets to see their future queen and her husband. And as they proceed with a captain's guard through throngs estimated at two million, the drabness of life is forgotten. Everything is rationed but cheers, and the crowd really goes wild. There are few processions in London in which history may not repeat itself. As Princess Elizabeth passes history's landmarks, there is one which is particularly significant. For here is Victoria Memorial to Elizabeth's great-great-grandmother, who a hundred years ago wed her prince consort and gave her name to Britain's golden era. And the statue of good Queen Vic may well be smiling today. However long Elizabeth and Philip may reign over Britain in years to come, never will they know a moment when they will be as close to the man in the street as now. And in the exuberance of the occasion, the enormous crowd surges forward. On the balcony at Buckingham, where many kings and queens have appeared, Princess Elizabeth happily shares the supreme day of her life with her countrymen. Here is the complete picture of Britain's royal family on the great occasion. As with many another family, three generations are there to give their blessings. And so Elizabeth and Philip take their leave to attend the nuptial breakfast and reception. But no wedding story is complete without the gifts. From all parts of the earth have they come, representing the world's finest craftsmanship and the good wishes of scores of nations. Particularly beautiful is the crystal ware, some of it from the United States ambassador. And here is President Truman's gift, an exquisitely etched Steuben glass jar. Gorgeous as most of the gifts are, they are not all strictly ornamental. In fact, some of them are downright useful. This picnic hamper from Sister Margaret is covered with alligator skin. The Swiss watchmakers sent one of their finest. From Burma and Bombay to Regent Street in London, jewels from governments and family have been showered on the bride. But again, no wedding story is complete without wedding pictures, and these are historic ones. Most important, of course, the bride and groom, who for the first time take precedence over a smiling and happy king and queen. To complete the collection, here is the wedding party. Bridesmaids and best man, prettiest maid of all is little sister Margaret Rose. Fostered by long tradition and love of Britons for their reigning family, another milestone is passed in the succession of British rulers. But the whole world joins Britain in wishing two young people long life, prosperity, and happiness as they embark on their new life. Thank <laughs> you.